With the rising spate of insecurity, the replacement of new service chiefs by President Mohamed Buhari did not come as a surprise to many Nigerians, following calls from many quarters for the country's security architecture to be restructured. In this report, TVC News correspondent Jesse Tafida sought the views of residents of Meduguri, the Bronu state capital, about the appointments. The former service chiefs were appointed by President Buhari in 2015 after he was elected to his first presidential term. Since then, the service chiefs have tried all strategies to bring an end to the insecurity bedeviling the nation. But the seeming lack of progress in addressing the security challenges has led to a widespread clamor for their sack. The inability to completely defeat Boko Haram terrorists in the northeast was a major yardstick used to measure the performance of the former military hierarchy. It will be the same measure with which the new service chiefs will be judged. The Boko Haram insurgency and other forms of criminality have lingered for over a decade in the northeast region, and so the new service chiefs will not be venturing into unfamiliar territory. Burno have been the worst hit by the Boko Haram insurgency. The killings of over 67 farmers at Zaburmari village of the state was the height of it for many. Their voices became the loudest among those calling for the replacement of the service chiefs. Burno resident expects the new service chiefs to prioritize the fight against insurgency so as to enable IDPs go back to their places of abode. The service chiefs had been there for long and uh, they have uh, quite okay done their lot because uh, they did well in some of the activities but in some we have cause to raise a lot of concerns. I am sure we are going to have a new dawn. To me, uh, governance is about continuity and uh, we expect them to cash in on the already existing um, success recorded by the outgoing service chief. Very soon you will see that in the war front you will be also there having your cameras, snapping everything and gathering the news and giving it to the people. Mm -hmm. I know with Irabo this kind of things will be done. Therefore the era of hiding and uh, what have you has gone. For others who are resigned, changing the service chiefs does not guarantee better security for the country. My small fear is that I don't know what kind of support they are really going to get from these uh, people that appointed them to the uh, position. Sometimes you can be appointed, uh, given uh, a role to play, but in fact you will find it difficult to make your way. We want them to start uh, to hit the ground running and see an immediate impact on that. And we want them to be as honest as possible to the president, to give him the clear situation of what is happening. All eyes are now in the new service chiefs as the country Country grapples with nationwide insecurity, bandic tree nappings. The new service chiefs are expected to consolidate on successes already achieved and to break new ground by ushering in peace and stability in the country. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.